What's up, guys? It's Joe Five Dsman from Joe Five Dsman Rising. Uh, back with another video. Uh, today we'll be looking at Red Dead Black Two. This is just gonna be a very basic, bare bones uh, guide on if you're just jumping into Red Dead Black Two and you haven't played the first one or any of the other games by Spellbook, and you want to know uh, what exactly is going on. Uh, so. I'm just going to run through everything you see on your screen and the bare basics to what you want to do to start out. If you want more detailed guides or if you have questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll try and get to everything I can. Uh, I'll have the official Infinite Black 2 Discord in the description down below. Uh, so let me just run you through basically what you're going to see. So when you first log in, you're going to be here this is your ship it's called a uh, gunboat uh mine's level 16 yours will be uh just level zero uh these two things are drones we'll get to that later and they're just floating around my ship so starting up top we're gonna work our way top left to right uh basically just each line uh so this is, this is your credits it's a form of currency um you get it mainly by uh farming and getting items and scrapping those items it just gives you money uh you use this to buy items uh, in the auction house from other players these are skulls you get skulls mainly through just killing other enemies in pvp sectors uh and it'll give you one skull per kill there's other ways to get skulls like the arena uh, but i'm not gonna go into that today uh, these are tech points. This is a premium currency. Uh, two main ways, well, three main ways to get tech points. You either uh, spend real life money and that supports the game. You get tech points or you can transfer credits to tech points in a one-to-one -one basis. And I'll show you how to do that if you escape. Get more tech points. This is how you convert. So if I want five, it costs 5,000. Or uh, by getting achievements, um, doing certain things. Uh, if you look down here, someone just got three tech points for that achievement. Uh, that's another way to get tech points. Uh, this is the uh, sector you're in. It's called Soul. It's the beginner one. Uh, this is the specific s uh, sector location. So you're in 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, and then if you hover over, you can see you know, all the other locations. Uh, this is a safe zone because this is blue. So I cannot be attacked by anything while I'm in this. I'm just at Earth down here you can see uh so i have 39 percent of this particular map uh mapped out so if i want to uh complete it uh any of these uh that have a square means it is unexplored uh area and so i need to jump to it and be in there to have it mapped so so you can see I have a bunch of stuff not mapped. When you fully map Soul, uh, you will get a free ship that will be a shuttle. Uh, I can show you what that shuttle would be. I haven't actually finished mapping it myself, so I don't have one, but I can show you. Uh, it has six equip points. Uh, it's a shuttle, small ship, uh, and this will be bound to your account. You can trade ships, but not these. Uh, you can craft up to a human battleship without any corp assistance, uh, which a corp is basically, uh, it's kind of like a guild or a group of people that get together and it helps you unlock better ships. Uh, but I'm not, I don't want to delve too far into that. So if you go up here, this is your uh, player picture. And if you click on here, this is your profile. So it has all this information. So your corporation, if you're in one, your item bank. So these are the items you get from drops or trading. Um, crafting which these are you need blueprints to craft uh, you get blueprints through a variety of ways uh, trading or deconstructing items uh, which will eventually give you a random one uh, artifacts these are spread out across the maps uh, corporations can capture them um, you can study them if you study them it will get you give you uh, a tech point and it will give you a, a skill point that you can use. Um, portrait, which you can change. Uh, if you just click on that, it gives you the option to change all this stuff. Uh, skill points, which you get one every 
player level. So my player level right now is 20. So I have 20 points and I have 13 artifacts studied. So that's like 13 skill points. And so you just decide what you want to get. Uh, there's different methods of thinking. Um, I like going XP first personally and then going with the utilities, the abilities, sorry, down here. So like better drink and grapple, which just help you uh, survive for longer and not get shot as much. Uh, and then you have your ship garage. You can run multiple ships in this game. Uh, if you're not using a ship, you can set it as a corp defender, which basically is kind of like an AI that defends your corp. Um, as you level up, you have the ability to deploy more ships. Um, right now I'm level 20 and I can deploy up to four ships. Achievements, uh, arena. So I kind of touched on this earlier. This is, a, this is basically where you go in with a certain amount of ships and you'll be fighting other players. Uh, and then essentially kind of like how in Battle Royale is a circle of clothes, there's fire that will spread from the outside of the arena. And so it kind of forces you to fight other people. What you'll get assigned to a team, whatever team uh, survives till the end, wins, and you get uh, skulls and certain items from winning. Research, uh, so you get research from either buying it, so you can, here I can spend one tech point to get one hour worth of uh, boosting my battery recharge rate, so my battery recharges faster if I decide to spend it, and then you can pause them, so they're just like little passive buffs, see that one's still going, um, yeah, and that's basically everything for this. Uh, next, this is a drop down menu that gives you a bunch of different things. Uh, the help, which this just gives you a bunch of information. Um, and then there's chat, which I'm not going to open just so I don't show any sensitive corp information. I'll have to blur it later. Uh, your free gift, uh, you can get this. You have to kill five NPCs, and it'll usually give you uh, a boost or two, and maybe repair an item you have. In your possession, either on your ship or your inventory, or maybe it'll increase the quality or potentially even the rarity. So it's just very random. Uh, this is your settings. Uh, this is a basically a toggle to where this is if I believe if I left click, it'll move them all. If not, uh, it'll move one at a time. So searching this lets you basically search for different information like the auction house or the leaderboards or different corps or players as you can see um, then you have the quicker ways so auction armory um, this is just a quick how do I want to sort my enemies um, it's a quick way to get to it instead of going through settings um, star maps this is just a picture of all the map so basically we're right, we're right here in Seoul this is R1 so rating 1 and then you can take these jump gates to go to different places. Um, I can show you up here. This is a jump gate. So I'd have to go to this sector to use it. And it just quick jumps me to that next sector. All right. Uh, and then I can quick jump like that too. Uh, moving on, chat. And then these are uh, the ships. So th these are going to be all your ships. If I want to deploy another one, I just click on it and it deploys it. These will be deployed on the planet. Uh, these are all the either neutral or allied ships. Enemy ships will be over here. Uh, this is the planet Earth. Uh, this is where you deposit. You have basically this virtual bank um, that... Ooh. I need to farm. All right, well, we're going to kill enemies so I can get my daily. But So you can essentially go to either an outpost or a structure, and you can deposit your resources and use those resources to either build ships or items. So you see I'm in the sector now. There are two enemies. One just uncloaked. I'm attacking this one. If you look down here, I have my abilities that I've unlocked. So, as you see, as I'm shooting, I'm losing battery. And essentially, to start out, you just want to farm this beginner area. 
and if you want to know about gear uh, you go over here to inspect your ship go to equipment this is all your gear it's a, bit, a little bit overwhelming yours is gonna look uh, green so it's gonna be uncommon uh, that's basically the lowest quality or lowest rarity item you can have that can be upgraded below that is uh, common so if you have common items I have it set if you're sayings to just scrap them so auto scrap junk loot items um, another saying that's good is left click to move all ships which I kind of showed you earlier um, this is where you change your ally and enemy ships how it sorts them so how they pop up um, so yeah so on mobile or even on here you can just tap the screen like this is battery drain so you see their battery went down and then grapple which means they can't move um, another good thing to note is you can follow other ships uh, so if you have someone just driving around uh, and they're farming best to follow them on my ship I, I just have two medics um, so if you want to harvest this this kind of junk that drops you would need a harvester to get items you either get them by drops or you can create certain free items and they'll just be uncommon uh, so you can use that to get your ships in the beginning so there will never be a lack of items if you need them um, so let's see so yeah as you see the sectors I've jumped on went from being squares to octagons now and so I've mapped those sectors and then there will be this little yellow arrow if they're gonna move and so that just lets you know what direction they're moving uh, show for our ship too so this is a real bare bones basic guide to how to play the infinite black 2 uh, probably missed some basic stuff uh, but essentially you want to try and map this as soon as possible and get your second ship so you could be farming with two ships which will allow you to farm a lot faster and then I also encourage you to seek out a corporation to join uh, they should be able to help you out uh, greatly so yeah thank you for watching uh, if you have any questions or uh, things you want me to touch on in future videos leave it down in the comments and I will do my best to answer everything as promptly as possible thank you for watching if you enjoy what you see please subscribe I'll leave a like if this information was helpful have a good day.